Hey, Z-Man back again. So this is actually working out pretty well. This, These two rows here were, were radish. And last week I cropped them out. And I covered them with alfalfa hay. To help kind of control the weeds. We had gotten a lot of rain, so I haven't been able to plant it yet. So I'm hoping today or tomorrow the rain holds off and I can go ahead and plant these two rows so what I'll do is I'll bring some of my compost over and I'll do probably a two or three inch layer level it out and I'm gonna plant right into that that way I'm not disturbing the soil at all with tillage but so far this is working out pretty well I've been doing it like with my uh, cauliflower as I harvest, I'll take all the leaves and the stem and stuff and lay them in the bed and then I cover it with alfalfa. And by the time these are done all going, I think that alfalfa will be broken down enough to cover it with compost and plant right into that. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. You could tell how it does help with the weeds, but it's no guarantee. But what I'll do is I'll just add a little bit of extra alfalfa on it. But everything's coming together. Some of these look look pretty good. Look at this guy. Ooh, that's a nice cauliflower. Nice cauliflower. Harvested a bunch of chilies and garden salsas yesterday. I got a few bell peppers. There's a bunch on the plants that are getting ready to be big enough. But the tomatoes, tomatoes are looking mighty fine. I don't know if y'all can see inside here. There are tons and tons of tomatoes. Look at that. Beautiful. And I will see, oh, look at that huge cluster of them in here. Can you guys see all those? Look at that. It's nice. I will say, I, I'm i not 100% set on this Alabama weave latticing here, or uh, trellising. I mean, I like the concept. It is easy, especially when you have a lot of tomatoes. It is super easy to go through and lace it through the, the stakes. But I do not like how everything is tight. All the foliage is kind of tight together. And I don't, I, I'm worried. Oh, my God, look at all those. I'm really worried about airflow through there. If we don't get good airflow, we'll get blight. Man, look. They're all over. Nice. Look at all these tomatoes in here. Love them. And no sign of the horned worm yet either. Man. Look at that beautiful cluster. These are going to start blushing soon. Nice. Let's go look at the beef steaks. Look at that, we still got, still got standing water. If that doesn't drain in the next day or two, it's not gonna be good. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we got some, look at the carrots. Carrots, nice carrots coming up here. And I think some of these are the kaleidoscope ones. So they'll be purple, orange, and yellow. But look at, yeah, look at the tomatoes here. Nice beef steaks, baby. Yeah, no red ones yet. They're taking forever to ripen. It's about time for another compost tea application. I figure while they're fruiting here, I'll uh, go ahead and give them a little application of that. Yeah, these are looking okay. Nice big ones. These are the beefsteaks, so these get big. 
they say average weight's about a minimum of a pound per on these, so they look healthy. Anyways, till the next episode, everyone. Later, y'all.